In this next step, we'll be making decisions about recording data in ways that will help us answer our questions. This process is also known as data management. Data management involves making decisions about data. The codebook and frequency distributions are an excellent guide for making these decisions. In fact, many decisions that you make will be based on examining frequency distributions. You will use them often because they reveal things about the data that will be helpful to you. There are several steps commonly considered when conducting your data management. You may only need to perform a subset of these steps. It is even possible that your variables are already adequately managed and no data management is necessary. In all cases, it is important that you consider each possible decision because it allows you to play an active role in understanding your data and assuring that you are asking your questions in an appropriate and meaningful way. A first step to consider is whether or not you need to code out missing data. We'll use our Young Adult Smoking Project as an example. In the NISART codebook, you see that the response category 1 means daily smoking for variable S3A Q3B1. And you can read down to see the meaning of other response categories for the usual smoking frequency variable and frequency table. Your data will often include response categories that don't help you answer your question, even though they provide information. For instance, in this variable, we have a response category unknown, coded as a 9. For these responses, we simply don't know how much these individuals smoked, and therefore we don't want to include them in our analysis. So what's next in data management? When we examine the frequency distribution and the codebook entry for the tobacco dependence variable for our sample project, we see that this variable has only valid responses. That is, 1 equals nicotine dependence, and 0 equals no nicotine dependence. So this variable will not require any data management for missing this, and we're set to move forward. Please note that it is important that you examine each of the variables that you've selected and add syntax to your program that recodes appropriate data as missing. Once you have completed this portion of the data management, the next step is deciding whether or not you need to code in valid data that has been unnecessarily set to missing. Well, in some data sets, particularly those based on surveys, there are often skip patterns. So you may ask participants in a survey, have you ever been arrested? And a respondent may say no. If the next question in the survey is how many times have you been arrested, for a participant who already reported never having been arrested, this second question just doesn't make sense. To avoid asking inappropriate questions, skip patterns are often created in surveys that allow participants to skip questions in which the answer can be logically determined. In this way, missing data on some questions might mean that we can reasonably recover valid information. For the question, did you drink at least one alcoholic drink in the past 12 months, 16,116 participants said no. These individuals would not need to be asked the question about how often they drank alcohol in the past 12 months. Another very useful step in data management is to give your variables response codes that may be more logical than those they were originally given. For my variable, usual smoking frequency, you can see from the codebook entry that lower values mean that the respondents smoked more and higher values means the respondents smoked less. Perhaps this seems counterintuitive to you. We could choose to reverse code this variable so that higher values mean more smoking, and lower values mean less smoking. Later steps in data management is evaluating whether you might want to create secondary variables. Secondary variables are variables that include information from two or more primary variables. We can create secondary variables by using a mathematical or logical operation on two or more variables. In this case, we want to know the number of cigarettes smoked per month. We know the number of days smoked each month, 
and a new variable, usfreakmo, gives us an estimate of the quantity smoked. If we want to estimate the total number of cigarettes that participants smoked per month, it would make sense to multiply these two variables and get a product that represents the number of cigarettes per day times the number of days smoked per month. Let's call this new variable numsigmo underscore est, which stands for the estimate of the number of cigarettes smoked per month. So what if you want to combine more than two variables? A good example of this would be creating a single secondary variable to characterize ethnicity from a number of separate primary variables available in the Add Health data. In Add Health, race or ethnicity are measured by a series of questions coded 1 if yes and 0 if no. Since adolescence in this sample could have indicated more than one race or ethnicity, we could decide to characterize those adolescents who indicate multiple racial or ethnic groups separately from those who could be characterized with a single ethnicity. To accomplish this, the first thing to do is sum the variables to get a new variable, which we'll call numethnic. That indicates the number of race or ethnicity variables that were endorsed. Once you've created the secondary variables that you feel you will need, you can also consider whether any of your quantitative variables or categorical variables need to be further grouped or binned. Now that you've seen a number of different data management decisions that could be made, I hope that you're ready to take on your own, which you will do in the next assignment. How much data management you will need for your own variables will depend on the variables that you've selected and the decisions you've made about them. Some may choose to only code out missing data, while others may need to or want to do more. Data management is a part of the research process that you can and will return to again and again as you learn more and are able to make better decisions.